how do I meditate? Um, meditation basics. The difference between meditation and sleep, or meditation and a nap, or meditation and um, yoga nidra, or some other uh, relaxation techniques is meditation is actually practiced. Um, it's an active practice. That means that we sit with an upright spine um, during meditation uh, because we want our minds to be highly aware while at the same time holding a body that is relaxed and comfortable. So an upright spine helps us stay highly aware and the idea is that our body around the spine can soften, can relax, and can be comfortable. So being comfortable during meditation is so important. If you think that you can't sit cross-legged with an upright spine during the entire length of your meditation, I would suggest either sitting like I am now, sitting on a couch with um, a supportive back, or sitting in a chair with your legs at 90 degrees, so you might need to prop your feet up on um, a pillow. Um, it's really important to be comfortable. So set yourself up for success in advance and sit during meditation in a way that you can be comfortable the whole time. Um, like I have said, meditation is actually, it's a process, it's a practice. So we also want to develop over time the strength to eventually sit in an upright position without the support of a back or a chair. Um, so that we can have access to this tool no matter where we are. So it's a process of strengthening this posture, which means practicing sitting in the posture. Um, so you might even want to start in um, cross-legged with an upright spine, and then you might want to move to the couch or move to a chair. That's totally fine. So know that during meditation, it's so important to be comfortable in your body. If you have a scratch, scratch it. If you need to adjust your position during meditation, please do that. Um, a relaxed and comfortable body means that it is more likely to have a relaxed and comfortable mind that is able to quiet down and be still. When to meditate? Um, what time of day should I meditate? It is suggested that you start your day with meditation. The reason that it's suggested to start your day with meditation is because this is a process of being conscious of where your awareness is focused and um, continuing to come back to it. So the reason it would be beneficial to start with a meditation during the beginning of the day is because you're going to be able to go out for the rest of your day and no matter what happens, you can decide where your attention is being focused. Um, the reason this is important is because when we have become distracted out in everyday life, we can become aware and we can choose to go back to the present moment, whatever it is you might be working on, doing, whoever you might be with, you can be present. Um, that being said, being able to consistently meditate every single day is, is one of the most important things. So. Um, if you don't get to meditate during the day, that shouldn't um, stop you from, oh, I forgot to meditate this morning, so at lunch I'm going to take a five-minute meditation, or right before I go to bed I'm going to meditate. So really, um, the point is not necessarily when you meditate, but that you meditate and you commit to doing it um, every single day, because that is when you're going to start to see the benefits of meditation out in your everyday life. How long should I meditate for? Um, this is a question that only you can answer for yourself. Um, like I have said, the process of meditating is the most important part. So if you think meditating for 30 minutes every single day is gonna be too much, bring it back down. What feels realistic? What is something that you can commit to, that you know you can act on every single day. Is it five minutes? Great. Is it 12 minutes? Great. Is it 10 minutes? Great. Whatever it is, um, commit to it 
knowing that it's something you can do no matter what, no matter what might be going on around you. Where should I meditate? It's important to choose a space where you're not going to be interrupted. So um, if you are at work and you're gonna meditate in your office and you have a door that you can close and hang a little sign on, on the door that says, please do not disturb, um, that's ideal. If you can go into a room where that you can lock so you know no one's gonna come in, that would be ideal. Um, set, again, set yourself up for success. So however long you're gonna commit to, um, go to a place where you know you're not going to be disturbed during that time. And if you are disturbed during that time, it's okay. Um, go back and finish your allotted time. Um, obviously, creating a space that is conducive to meditation, maybe a place with a candle or a place that has your comfortable seating, um, all of that's ideal. But again, we don't want to have um, created this perfect spot, which means I can only meditate in the perfect spot. Um, meditation should be something that you can do really anywhere, anytime, um, and, and feel comfortable practicing it anywhere and anytime. And if you are in, an, in a place that is distracting on the outside, it's actually just more of an opportunity to practice where is my attention? come back to the point of meditation, regardless of noises, distractions going on around you. Because guess what? In life, um, we have distractions and noises going on around us all the time. And in the midst of that, can we focus on whatever it is we're choosing to focus on? This is the practice of meditation.